up video on the porch. There's no sun on the porch yet. And I so need the sun. We all need the sun. It's almost 80 degrees. <laughs> Outside, like, oh my god, those wind chimes are annoying. Uh, but here's my checkup this morning. Um, I want to thank Mike. Yeah, thank you for understanding. I could not really talk that long last night, but maybe what was it, 30 to 45 minutes? Um, because I was still feeling the effects, which is still am today. Um, my tongue is still slightly numb. My arm is still tingly and ice cold. Um, I still have the dump trucks just right up in here, and it's still right here in my jaw. But I'll take it. It's not as bad as yesterday. But um, from what I've learned, I don't know if anybody else through the community has hit a hemiplegia hemiplegic migraines well yes I do sometimes sunset I, I guess you take the medicine I'm taking for it too so but I don't know if you if you experience the, the body paralysis yet. The, which you can have seizures so it's actually migraine it, it's seizures cut due to the migraines um, so that kind of puts things together for me of why I've been having seizures and not feeling a headache or a migraine is probably because the the plegic, I'm going to just say H plegic, it's easier for me, does inflame your neuro system and whatever side the pain is on, whether next time it can be on my left side, whatever side the pain is on is um, the side that it will affect. And not always, it don't always give you paralysis and sometimes it just gives paralysis of maybe just the face and the tongue. Sometimes it's just the arm, sometimes it's just the leg, um, and sometimes it's the whole side of your body, including the back side. I mean literally split you in half, it's the whole side of your body down sometimes and that's what I, I gotta move from these wind chimes. They are driving me freaking batty. Hold on guys. get up on the porch excuse me um but whew, I can't hold up with my right <laughs> but I started but if let me let's see which way am I gonna sit here I'll sit right here excuse me real quick guys <sighs> My legs throbbing, um, but um, kaleidoscopes, a weird pain feeling, pins and needles. Um, went bloody hell. My right calf is spasming with pain. Let me stretch that leg out. Bloody hell. Sorry for the word. Um, also, I, when I woke up this morning, I was white as my shirt, I guess, from all of it. So, yes, I'm having to wear makeup today because I'm that pale, white, pale, pale, pale. I do not feel any, I feel a little bit better. I mean, oh, that cup, stretch that leg out. Um, but. If you have, or if you're diagnosed with migraines, which I know a lot of you are, 
And I mean, I'm just saying, not all migraines do this. Just this one, which is a rare migraine. It is a rare form, and it can be um, dangerous too, because sometimes you can't come back from the paralysis um, and stress and everything can contribute to it. Um, but like, if you start getting tingly and numb on your face or your arm starts feeling tingly, numb, sleepy, down your leg, and then it stops and then it goes back. It's like with your heartbeat, it does it, and then it just stays that way. Or your tongue, half of your tongue goes completely numb, or your face feels like somebody's literally grabbing it and pulling it down. Um, look into that, or the kaleidoscopes, the, the sun flashes in your vision and everything that could be it if you have those so I'm gonna have to learn the signs obviously I've been having those since I went freaky what a month ago in the in my PCP's office when they had me do the follow the I'm trying to keep my leg tense so it don't oh the deep muscle spasm is killing me but um <laughs> Slow down my breathing. I'm talking and not breathing. But, um, there were symptoms. Um, there's a lot of things I've not discussed with you guys on. And yes, I started my juicing again. Except it's not Google Glove this time. Since I'm not able to handle greens very well. And it's just pure fruits. It's strawberries, bananas, blueberries. And I still had some wild, fro a bag of frozen um, blackberries I had picked last year. I didn't realize I had still got that. Now, when it comes to greens, I can't put green, eat greens. So, um, whew, that leg passed. Sorry, guys. Like I said, I'm still freaking irritable. And excuse my freaking bloody hells. I'm not really all up with it yet. Um, I'm still just... <laughs> flowing through the day like a zombie and then I have my whoa let's go outside whoa let's do this oh let's not so and feeling misplaced if that makes any sense I feel misplaced like my brain has me misplaced like I'm missing time and lapses and I feel so misplaced and it, it's, I can't explain it like right now I'm still having from here to here and just to here to the back part of my scalp the deep thick pins and needles stabs so I mean I'm not out of the woods yet I'm keeping calm I'm taking my medicines and all that good stuff but um I can't remember what I actually was talking about I really can't See, that's what I'm saying. I feel misplaced. My brain is not working with my body. And I don't know. I feel very misplaced up in here. Okay, stretch that leg out again. But, um, no, I woke up this morning at 9. I think it was 9 o'clock. Finally took a shower, which I so severely needed. <laughs> had to put makeup on because I was severely pale I mean pale pale and um looked like a walking ghost and um but oh yeah I was talking about this see what I'm saying I'm very misplaced today and um and since I can't eat greens and I know the greens is what's causing me issues too and every time I eat any green vegetables and as Mike knows twice now we've tried vlogging and I ate greens because I was trying to figure out if it was fruits or greens and both times I tried greens 10 minutes in I was in the bathroom so God bless him he, he, he dealt with it went through me I mean as I went through that um, so yeah that's how <laughs> that goes but I'm not implementing greens what I'm doing is I'm doing what um, Bill's doing and using that super green powder that has all the antibiotics and everything we need for Lyme. It's it's great for Lyme. I'm just putting the scoops that's recommended per so many ounces 
in here with the fresh fruits and I'm not doing the coconut or the almond milk right now in case that even though it's gluten free sugar free no GMOs all that good stuff I'm not adding that in it right now I'm doing nothing but water because I'm gonna um I ended up uh, watching some of what's your name oh my goodness She's the one I can't. I, I apologize. I, I know her. She does the fasting. She's done a 40-day fast, water fast, dry fast. She's on the. I think it's the Brainer Protocol. I can't remember. Rebecca? No. She's got two kids and she's battling the disease on, on top of dealing with a family, raising a family. So, um, and I've researched it too. And since I really don't have a hunger or a craving for food food um i ended up doing research on one of hers where she was doing fasting so i'm gonna do i'm not gonna guarantee i will complete it when if i get hungry i am gonna eat because i'm rarely hungry so if i if i get hungry this girl's gonna eat because it, it'll be the first that i actually have hunger pains and want to eat but i'm gonna do nothing but a pure liquid diet of fruits and the, but my veggies are the super green powder so it's easier to digest for me and I'm still putting in my binder my equestrian there you go to help with the green issue I'm gonna I'm still having to do the gas relief or gas X so it'll help with the pressure and the bloating due to the super green powder or the fruits in it so I'm gonna see how long I can do that before my guts go okay girl you need to eat something um as well as that yeah just remember breathe i'm long-winded and i'm not breathing also um there's a lot of stuff i've not discussed on here that and i i do we do because a lot of us don't discuss what lyme can mimic other diseases it mimics and <laughs> we just talk about lyme babesia Bartonella. I don't really talk about Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever or the other two forms of rickettsia I have because I, those two I just caught up, got or came out to play, as I'll put it. But um, we do need to discuss about other co-infections that we really don't discuss instead of just the main top ones. And we also need to discuss what Lyme does mimic do you have other diseases due to Lyme like like I have restless tremors which is a part of the Parkinson's disease um, I've had that diagnosed I, I have officially got diagnosed last Tuesday or Wednesday I mean they knew something was going on because I, I could stand sit and have tremors sh just shoulder or hand or leg tremors and then if I move they stop um, and that's part of Parkinson's disease, but Lyme mimics other diseases. So it's called, uh, help me out, Mike, if I'm wrong on this word, Parkinsonoma, Sinosis, Parkinson's Sinosis, I think it's called. And it's a, you get the effects of Parkinson's disease, but you don't have the full blown Parkinson's disease because Lyme mimics other diseases. So I do have the Lyme mimicking uh, Parkinson's, disease, Parkinson's uh, disease. So we, and that was just found out last Tuesday or Wednesday, it was officially diagnosed. Um, so we're, we're going to keep an eye on it. I don't know what we're doing. I mean, I've seen three doctors next week, one's a PCP and all the other issues but that's something Lyme mimics or not a lot of us talk about the Hashimoto disease or um, what Lyme else is doing else to us like Lyme messes with your thyroids Lyme does these headaches because if you research a lot of Lymeys deal with a hemiplegic migraine seizure strokes and it's all actually due to the inflammation of the brain from the aurora migraine and it actually will start off with a migraine you don't realize then pins and needles and pain or feeling like metal is pouring down your face that's how that's the best way I can put that when it comes to my head and 
those will actually give you seizures and they're not the epileptic seizures but I also have petite seizures too so I'm dealing with the focal and petite on top of the seizures the plegic migraines are causing and those all three conjoined causes many strokes as well and it does wreak havoc because if half your body is plegic due to the migraine imagine what half of that body is affecting it's literally affecting your lung your heart whatever part of your kid whatever is on what side of the body it affects too at the same time so we do need to start talking more about other symptoms we have besides Bartonella Barbesia you know what I'm saying like yes Lyme has caused mimicking of Parkinson's disease Hashimoto I mean some of us have MS symptoms due to Lyme but we don't have MS something is um, Lyme can give us epileptic seizures but they're not full-blown when there's many like mine petite mall that's due to my Lyme disease and we need to address the other things that we are going through yes we go through the pain and the muscle ache it's just like I have um, my, um, muscular di um, distra uh, m muscle weakness my, my muscles are just disappearing Dis distro dystrophy dystrophy muscular dystrophy it's where your muscles slowly just deteriorate and Mike you know what I'm talking about Jen you probably do too I just can't think of the word right now it's misplaced somewhere up in here and I know it um, but it literally deteriorates your muscles and no matter how much running jogging workouts you do you can't build that muscle tone back up you just have start having skin and your muscles start disappearing we need to discuss about that yes we discuss about our guts but we need to start going in more detail about our gut issues and because a lot of our issues really I know we're not supposed to blame it all on Lyme but I think like this if I was a healthy person and then I caught Lyme found out I've had it and it's chronic and then all this stuff just pops out of the jack you know the jack-in-the-box and hits you that is Lyme that caused it it's not because you can't blame it on anything else it's Lyme especially if you're chronic well and things just start slowly coming out of the box and wanting to go out and play and then you got to maintain it you got to keep it in check so everything like me right now I'm as it was called what did I say it was a muscular it was a min muscular or mentular mimicry that my body is mimicking everything now and that is due to the Lyme so now certain things are coming out to play which I don't want them to play I want them to be grounded for life and they're coming out to play and we need to discuss what's coming out of the box that Lyme is causing Parkinson's um, Parkinson no, no, Parkin no, Parkinson no, Niosis whatever that word is the mimicry of Lyme you get the symptoms you know we need to talk about the MS symptoms that really is an MS it's Lyme related we really need to start doing that and I need to get off here because I'm not breathing proper <laughs> I'm not breathing proper but yeah this is my morning midday checkup my husband's supposed to come home tonight he's still wanting to do the monster jam tomorrow with his brother and my sister-in-law I'm not I'm really not prepared for it. I really don't want to go. But I pray I wake up tomorrow feeling 100% okay. So he can have his enjoyment. I know not to do. I know I'm on a two weeks do nothing rules at, at the moment. Nothing extraneous. Nothing stupid which is going to be hard for me because I'm by the sea I, I'm an I'm a very energetic person and I like to go 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 and do 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 and I don't like not getting to do but dystrophy muscular dystrophy that's the muscle weakness word but I mean just like um, my creatine levels 
Um, I'm dealing with kidney failure now. Uh, we felt that out last night due to all the testing to find out what was going on. So, yes, my kidneys are failing. I learned that last night. Um, <coughs> I'm trying to think of everything we learned. I know my kidneys are failing me. I know my liver's <laughs> cirrhosis of the, not cirrhosis of the, I have liver issues, pancreas issues, you know, gut issues. Uh, my husband said, when I described what happened, he said it sounds like palsy because his mother dealt with Bell palsy. And I'm like, well, yeah, it, it's like a stroke or Bell palsy. And I keep doing it on this side because this is the side it happened. But, and I do have palsy of the gut as well. So, and palsy of the gut is Lyme related. That's a mimicry. And Bell palsy is a mimicry of Lyme because your body starts mimicking all the diseases in the world. And I think like this. I personally feel for our body to mimic other diseases, we, we as humans, well, I'm an alien, but we as humans actually in our DNA, I feel, already carry all these diseases. We do carry cancer and Parkinson's disease and dyslexia and all these other diseases what but they're you know they're dormant low genes in our body because I feel that since how does Lyme just one tick bite and become chronic give you Parkinson's and MS and just the mimicries of it unless we already carry the DNA gene of those diseases so i feel that our bodies were already born with these dna diseases they just don't come out and play but lime react it activates it and gives us a full-on fireworks show of what the disease is without it being the legit disease we can have everything the disease has but can't be diagnosed MS because it's Lyme that's mimicking it. Lyme is turned into that gene to mimic that disease. So I feel our bodies are already carrying all the, the diseases, but Lyme, nasty little beast, likes to bring everything out and mimic everything. Because how can you mimic a disease when you originally don't have it, but Lyme give, gives you this disease? Somebody answer that question leg but um other than that guys it's a beautiful warm 80 degrees out here it's supposed to have rain tomorrow afternoon and rain all day sunday and then cold monday and back in the 80s they're on and we're done they said officially with winter but hopefully you guys have a beautiful day and see some sunshine and some warmth micah i know i think bill too i think both of you getting 50s and 60s today so enjoy that weather um, may you find your shimmy, your shake, your sprinkle, your sparkle. <sighs> Boy, I'm long-winded. My silver lining today would have been... It's still here. But I'm functioning. It's still here, but God gave me another day to live. It's still here. And trust me, it's still here. But I'm grateful to be alive. I, I'm, I can't get out and enjoy it, but I can at least be in awe of it. But that's my silver lining. It's here, but it's not as bad where I feel like I don't have to call 911. If it does do that where my whole right side goes completely paralyzed, I will call 911 again. But other than that, guys... I don't know if I'll tune back in this afternoon. I really don't. I know hopefully starting Monday, we do need to start teaching and talking about the other mimicry diseases we have instead of just the main little co-infections. And that's my honest opinion because we're here to teach others. And if I if I come on and I've got mimicking of Parkinson's disease but nobody's talking about it, then I'm going to feel like it's in my head when it's not. So we do need to start talking more about <laughs> the other issues, the other mimicries that Lyme gives us. Other than that, guys, other than that, guys, God bless you. Have a beautiful weekend and enjoy your day.